You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at the Alton Towers Resort, one week after the season came to an end. Now we are indeed. So we're here for Run Through UK, which is like a running around the park. They do four different races. So we've got the kids race, the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon. And today, I'm running the 5K. I can't believe it. Charlotte signed up last minute. She thought, you know what? She's going to give it a I'm go. I'm going to give it a go and see how I get on. And I'm really proud of you for, for giving this a try because you've wanted to do a run for a long time. I have done, like, since I was younger, I always wanted to do the London Marathon, but I'd never be able to do that. So I thought, I'm going to give the 5K a go and see how I get on. It's your first time doing anything like this professionally, it isn't is, it? Yeah. So, yeah, I really hope that you do well, Charlotte. Oh, fingers crossed. I hope uh, so. And this event only actually started here at Alton Towers last year, and we thought this would be the perfect place for Charlotte to do her first it would be. proper run, you know. Alton Towers because uh, it kind of combines it all together. It does, so, I'm excited. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. So, Charlotte's got a number just down got here as well. On there. there she well, is. Got hey. my name here <laughs> What's really weird is obviously, you know, there's no music playing or anything. It's a very foggy start to the morning. We're going to see Alton Towers in a very different way today. We are indeed. But we do get to go on the rides, which is great as well. Yeah, so I sort of run around the park and then later on the rides are open until like 6.45, so we'll get some night rides as well. Yeah, it means like three hours of night which rides really tonight. Good. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed about that. So, we're coming to join us for run through Alton Towers, something very different here on the channel today. It's so weird being here at Alton Towers, knowing that it's pretty much a full ride lineup a week after the season. And yeah, as you can see, the rides open later on. Other than Nemesis, that is under control by the Phalanx. Oh, we was here last Sunday actually for that. Yes, indeed, it was a really good day. Let's have a close look at your number then down here. There we go, one, three, eight, two, and there's the logo just there as well. And yeah, you should get a medal with that on. Maybe have a nice jog around the park like this. The only time you'll see me running at Alton Towers is for a new ride, <laughs> I'll tell you that. But uh, no, I'm looking forward to this. Of course, I'm giving Charlotte the full support. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I think I'm aiming for around 50 minute mark to get me around. Oh, the Let's end see. of the day though, I'm sure you're gonna complete yeah, it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Well, yeah, we're gonna head down to the event village. I just thought I'd point out though, we're gonna be back here in a couple of weeks time for Christmas. And yeah, a lot of the Christmas decorations are already out here on yeah. Tower Street. Now, what we're also going to be doing today is I'm going to be obviously spectating. You can have a spectator's ticket and then obviously the participants. Can Charlotte's going to have a GoPro. And I'm going to film around the route. And then I'm going to get some kind of, I'm going to say off-ride footage. I'm going, you to know? Have Charles, I'm going to have my phone like track so that Sean knows exactly where I am in the park. I can't like, ring you, can I? Like, oh, <laughs> so I'm going to try and get some shots of you yeah, as, as nice. you're running around. That's the plan. I'm going to get the majority of it on the GoPro. But the start and finish is at, by the towers, it isn't is it? It is indeed. Uh, yeah, here we go, down to the bottom of Tower Street. Street just a week ago it was fireworks set up down here now it's all gone as you can see and yeah they've still got all the flooring out though and loads of portaloos down at the bottom yeah this is the event village as it's called just here and yeah you have a massage after i think as well oh i'll be having one there <laughs> <laughs> yeah look at this setup what time's the fireworks here we go this is nearly as foggy as the saturday night for fireworks this look at this i'd say here we go it's all been cleared quite a few different stalls down to the right or oh, this selling oh medals all sorts of clothing, that sort of thing. And look at that, I've never seen so many portaloos in a line. That is ridiculous. You know what, I'm going to count how many there is and get back to you. But they start over there and run all the way in that direction. And the good thing about this is that we're also going to see some characters along the way. Well, I say we, you're going to see some characters. Oh, in the dodo. What a legend. Oh, it's going to be great. Well, I've just counted and there's 80 portaloos across the front lawn just there. At least there's plenty of toilets for people. How are you feeling, Charlotte? I'm quite nervous, to be honest. Honestly, you've got my full support. Oh, I'm sure you. everybody watching is giving you support thank as you. well. And we've already met loads of people who said Which loads of really nice things. Nice. So, thank you so much. Here we go. Charlotte's all geared up there. She's professional. All ready. Chest mounted GoPro on. Charlotte's going to head down for the warm up first. I am indeed. Get me nice and warm up ready for the race. <laughs> I'm going to get in position at the front of the towers, which is the start and finish line. And here we go, Charlotte's running 5k today. I am indeed. Good luck, Charlotte. Thank you. Let's go. I'm process. stood here on the lawn, ready to do my warm up, ready for the 5k run. I'm feeling quite nervous, but I'm just hoping that I can do it and do Sean proud. I can hear Wicker Man testing over there in the distance, and how atmospheric is this the lake here and such a low mist over the park this morning. Charlotte's on the other side there now, ready to start the warm up. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching Charlotte start off on this epic adventure around Alton Towers. And yeah, I'm really proud of her 
for coming here today and doing this. She's never done a run like this before professionally. So yeah, really looking forward to it. And 5K is a big thing for Charlotte to do. Maybe next year she can do the 10K she does well with this one. You know, that's the thing. It's all about warming up and practicing these things. I know I certainly couldn't do it. So I'm really proud of Charlotte for giving it a go. But yeah, it's really special being here and seeing the park like this on a morning. Beautiful, it really is. Especially a week after the main season came to an end. And what a beautiful fog with the towers ruins just there. You can't even see them from the other side of the lake. I mean, we're only like 100 foot away from them here now and still struggling to make them out in places. Yeah, it's crazy. You've got to think we're in the park way earlier than you normally would be. Uh, normally, the Alton Towers rise wouldn't open until 10 o'clock and the gates wouldn't open until about 9, 9.15, whereas the park's actually been open since 7.30 this morning to come into. So yeah, it's crazy, really. You wouldn't normally get a foggy day like this. But yeah, it feels proper wintry today now. And here's a look at some of the setup for Lightopia that's going to be going through the gardens this year. And yeah, I think there's a big dragon up here and loads of crystals as well, which looks awesome. But yeah, this is the start and finish line up here. Oh, how gorgeous do the towers look just there. And yeah, here's the finish line right out the front here where I'll be cheering on Charlotte. So proud of her, I really am. But yeah, there's the logo for the event. And yeah, gonna get a nice medal that she can wear as well, which really is fantastic. But yeah, we've got Christmas coming up in a couple of weeks here at Alton Towers. A look at some of the setup for Lightopia. You've got the huge dragon all the way along the front just here now, which looks amazing. Yeah, it looks really cool, that does. It's great that Lightopia has expanded and lots of new features for this year as well. Here we go, you don't get to see a bike going through Alton Towers on a very regular basis. Here we go. Then, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. And we're off. Hey. There they all come. Woo. Oh my God, he's got a push chair. So this is the start of the half marathon. About 20 minutes to go until the start of the 5K. Well, we're going to see Charlotte wearing bright pink coming past. Look at this. Unique to see this at Alton Towers. Thousands of people here for this event today. Great. Woo! Good luck, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! Good luck, guys. What a great atmosphere here at Alton Town. It's something really different to see. And yeah, I tell you what, they've got around quick. So yeah, the route heads all the way around Dark Forest first. The people who are doing the half marathon actually need to do it twice as well. But yeah, I can't believe how quick they got around Dark Forest all the way down there. And they're already making their way in front of the towers down towards X Sector. So got people starting just down here as well. So yeah, everyone's wearing a little tag, which is on the shoes. And then yeah, that activates for the time so you know exactly how long it is everybody's coming down here at Alton Towers that's Scooby-Doo at the top there <laughs> see what they actually do is start people off in stages depending on how long you think it's going to take you to complete the course yeah good luck to all runners now we're at Alton Towers today so what we have to do, when we're on a ride, we have our hands in the air, we do a scream. So, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, very good. Everyone knows how to ride at Alton Towers. Okay, keeping jogging. Keeping jogging, we're going to do another scream. Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. And here we go. It's the start of the 5K. Yeah, I love how they've got lots of entertainment out around the course. Obviously, Charlotte's going to be capturing that on the GoPro. And we've got to look out for her now. We're looking for a bright pink Charlotte coming down here. Obviously, they do start depending on how they think they're going to finish in the race. So, yeah, we'll look out for her. Well done to all the runners. Here we go. Here comes Charlotte. Hey, she's got the GoPro on there as well. Woo! Good luck, Charlotte. Have a good run. <laughs> so here we go. We're running through Dark Forest now. 
We've only just started. I'm trying to go as slow as I can and not overdo it too much. But it's quite weird running around and seeing all the rides and them not going around, but it's a good experience. for it as she comes out the front of the towers she's still running and she does one lap round the park she's doing well come on charlotte i am so proud of charlotte and really pleased that she's doing this she's wanted to do a run like this for quite some time so in such a special place for us alton towers really is brilliant and yeah someone's just actually done the 5k in 15 minutes like that is crazy isn't it uh, a full lap of the park running in 15 minutes honestly that is amazing uh, it really is they've just crossed the finish line we've just seen charlotte of course going in front of the towers she's now going around x sector uh, down in front of spinball and then around the front section of the park so i'm going to try and catch her in action down here now. Just casually running past the smiler here. We'll have a ride on you later. We're doing okay. I'm a bit out of breath, but we're doing okay. Right, so we're running into Big Fun Showtime now, and I believe the Teletubbies should be out to see. I hope they are. And oh, it's Peter Rabbit and Dougie. Hello, Peter Rabbit! Hello, Dougie! Hello, Dougie! Oh, that's really nice to have the characters out. Gives you that boost of motivation that you need. Hey, she has just come out of CBeebies land. She's doing so well, crossing across Tower Street just here now. Running at Alton Towers. How are we, Mano? <laughs> oh, it's really good that they've got the Ents out to keep you motivated, which is really good. We're now going around Mutiny Bay and heading up towards Wickham. Well, I tell you what, everyone is doing a fantastic job. I'm loving watching and supporting here from the sidelines. And yeah, Charlotte's doing an absolutely fantastic job. We'll uh, capture some more footage of her as she's making her way towards the finish line a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, everything's really well thought out here. Apart from one thing, I mean, you've got the 80 portaloos down at the front but you've only got one coffee shop here in the middle and that's the queue all the way from there down here because you've got to think we're in the viewing area here you're not allowed to cross onto the other side so even though you've got corner coffee which is only just there on the corner of tower street when you're watching from here on this side you can't cross over because everyone's obviously running past so yeah just thought i'd point that out for next year they can do a little bit more food uh, down here in the middle and of course a couple of drink stands as well um, just for people who are spectating because there's only the one coffee booth just down here yeah, are going to go and catch up with Charlotte now. Somewhere, I reckon she's running up Forbidden Valley now. Well, there you go, 80 portaloos. <laughs> we got some set up here ready for Lightopia. These are new this year. These look really good. Just going past Wickerman. There she is, Big Bob. Oh, it's trying to pace yourself during this and not overdo it too much and making sure you have rest breaks. We've got the traffic patrol being supporters of ever. <laughs> So am I. Right, so we're at the like one and a half mile mark, so it means we're halfway. Oh, it is very tough. I've got to admit, this is very hard. Um, but I'm keeping going. We've made some friends along the way, which is really nice. This nice lady we've met along the way. They're my running partner, which is really nice. But this event's been fantastic. The atmosphere's been brilliant and the support's been amazing. We're just heading down towards Forbidden Valley and we'll check out Nemesis. So here we go. We're down towards Nemesis. Obviously Nemesis is now closed. 
and it's ready to be retrapped. We've got some fencing up, ready for Nemesis to reopen in 2024. All the signs still are investigation by the phalanx really excited to see this in 2024 and see exactly what they've done so here we go running around by galactica now and we're going out the galactica gate and onto the car box Oh, it's the hills that are a killer on these. The second half of the track, it's the hills, it's so hilly. But we're gonna finish down in Forbidden Valley, down Haunted Hollow, and down towards the finish line. Right, so we're in Haunted Hollow now. We're basically on the home straight. We've got to run through out of here, straight down the main path, past Her Ladyship's Gardens, back through Dark Forest, and then we're at the finish line. Oh my God, I am so tired. But oh, I'm doing really well, which I'm really proud of. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I have. Oh. Oh, that was hey, look at this legend with all the balloons on just there. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic, we had a few theme park worldwide shout outs of people coming past us all, which is great. Yeah, it's waiting here for Charlotte now. Obviously, she's running up through Gloomy Walk, Katanga, uh, around Forbidden Valley, down Haunted Hollow, and then we're coming down here towards the towers and towards the finish line as well. Just looking out for her now. <laughs> Nearly there now, Charlotte, here she comes. Nearly there, see you at the finish line. Oh, she's doing so well. Oh, we're nearly at the end. I can see, I can see the finish line. Oh, no, 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 no. We're nearly at the end. There's the finish line. We're nearly there. Oh. Here she comes, down towards the finish line. Oh, she's done so well. I'm glad she wore pink so we can spot her. Woo! Come on, Charlotte! Woo! Well done, Charlotte! Woo! Here she is! Oh! What was your time yet? Do you know? 40 minutes. That's really good. Oh. oh, I had a lovely lady on the way round. We ran with each other the whole way. Really gave me motivation, so thank you very much. Oh, that's great, that is. Yeah, oh, well done. Let's have a look at your medal. It's lovely. Hey, yeah, it's, it's nice, that. It's lovely. Papa Embossed Run Alton oh. Towers. There we go. Honestly, you did such a good job. I'm so sweaty. I can't wait to look at the footage yeah, back. Yeah, I got some good footage. It was all entertainment about. It was lovely. Yeah, I didn't realise you went round Dark Forest again. Yeah, you had to run. Like, oh again. my god. But right now, my legs are like jelly. You did so well there, though. My legs at the moment. God. Oh, I'm what, so pleased. What was the point where you started to feel a bit shattered when it you were going round? The run because we went round the car park, back through Galactica Gate, and it was at that point my legs had stopped. Oh, so you went out the park we on this one still? Park through Galactica Gate, ran round the car park, and then came back in. Right. Down through Haunted Hollow and stuff, but I've done it! I am so proud of you, Charlotte, like well for doing that. It's a big thing. It is a big thing. I'm so pleased that I've done it. Oh, well done. 10k next year? I don't know. <laughs> Up it every year. Three years time with the half marathon. Half marathon next, maybe next year. Maybe I'll do the kids' one next year. Yeah, like, maybe. what's that? Like, 1k or something there? Really <laughs> Oh, honestly, you did a really good job. I need a sit I'm so proud. Like going have a massage. Free massages on the yeah, lawn. Free massage. Run Alton Towers out the front here of the iconic Towers Ruins, the finish line. Charlotte 5K, everybody. 40 minutes. Well done. So proud. So, so proud. Hey, it's Darwin the Dodo, everybody. Hey, we love Darwin. <laughs> oh, have you done any running today, Darwin? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Oh, brilliant. Here we go then. It's now time.
time to get on some rides here at Alton Towers. Even though the season officially finished last week, it's a really weird feeling going on some of the big rides here. Obviously the biggest ride that's open over Christmas at Alton Towers is Spinball Wizards. Yeah, this feels really surreal walking down the Smilers queue line. Here she is. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah, who needs a massage when you go on the Smiler? We'll get you on the back row, Charlotte. That'll sort you out after a nice 5K run. Yeah, the rides are open through until, well, 6.45. So yeah, we've got loads of ride time now. We're doing some night rides later on. That's a great thing about coming to this event. just under 30 minutes there for a ride on the Smiler. It just seemed really weird riding it in the middle of November. Well, there we go. Enjoy your ride on there. No. <laughs> I'm sitting in a shopping trolley and chucking me down a hill. Like, <laughs> As does car park. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the smoothest ride, that was it? For a that was quite rough to Maybe because it's gone a bit colder than ours as well. Maybe. We've got some developments down here in X Sector though. Yeah, look at this. There's the gondolas for Enterprise. They are back now. They could be there for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that the ride is going to come back. Yeah, you know, hopefully. that's reason number one. Or reason two, which I think may be more likely, is they've waited till the end of the season, building it up, take photos of it, and then tried to sell it. It wouldn't surprise me because the park did put on Twitter earlier this year from their official communications that the ride had left the park. So, well, the gondolas are there now, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. And now just off to the left, the Retro Squad aren't open um, for this event. But you've got Spin Jam that's all bagged up, probably ready to depart for a Christmas event somewhere yeah, soon. So. I'd imagine. You've got your Lucas Aid there as well. I'm feeling it now. My legs are aching. I feel a bit sick, but I did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you, honestly. But yeah, in terms of Retro Squad rides, um, it looks likely that they're going to be back for next year because Mellors, the company that uh, owns Fantasy Island, they run the Retro Squad. They put a call out on social media for a techno jump for a frog bounce. I, mean, I do like them, but I'm having enough of them. Yeah, yeah, we'll do another video about that at some point, but it sounds like we might be seeing a frog bounce down here for next oh, year. Classic. Possibly down here in X Sector, maybe. Be interesting to see. Oh, that's it, signs are being packed up. There, there go. you go, end of the event. Oh, look at the setup here for Lightopia. Cannot wait for that, only a couple of weeks to go until it returns for a second year here to Alton Towers and looks like there's a lot of new figures for this year. Last year's event was themed around the different seasons and yeah, it looks a lot more kind of mystical this year, like that big dragon out the front of the towers. Setup's looking good for Lightopia. Yeah, I Lightopia, it's such a great event. I can't believe it's coming back for a second year and there's loads of new stuff. Oh, that's really nice to see they've freshened it up to be honest. Yeah, I thought it might just be the same stuff and maybe a couple of new bits, but yeah, loads of new things to see by the looks of it. Well, it's not very busy down here on the Congo River this afternoon at Alton Towers. Yeah, loads of anti-boats going round. It's a bit of a lazy river now. You never know, we might come in for 2023 and we might see the waterfalls on, you never know. Highly doubt it, but you never know. Well, we stood out right there on the runaway mine train, waited about five minutes, and we had a three lap special there, didn't we, Charlotte? Even better when you get three laps. It is. I tell you what, for a 30 year old coaster, it's pretty intense. It now. is intense, Especially yeah. Especially on that drop where you bang to the right and into the tunnel with that interaction with the rapids. Yeah, it was really forceful. Down here now in Gloomy Wood, our final time seeing the exterior of Jewel before, of course, we're in this part of the park um, for Lightopia. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if there's any other changes to the facade uh, made by then. However, look at this. The setup for Lightopia uh, has made its way down here into Gloomy Woods. And, some yeah. big pieces, which is really nice. Yeah, there's a few different bits to last year, some similar bits that we recognise. He's nice, that's skeleton. Some of the Scarefest characters about as well. Just off to the left there, which is good to see. We're really excited for Lightopia. I love it. Well, it's been seven days since that iconic moment when Nemesis gave its final rides down here for over a year. And it's very eerily quiet down here it's now. It's so weird. <laughs> 
be a sad season. What a send off though last oh, it's week. It's fantastic, really enjoyed it. It might be a bit sad next year, however, like we said before, we're preserve. pleased it's been done, preserve for the future. Definitely. It's just going to be weird next year. 2023 is going to be a very, very strange year for Alton Towers. But yeah, the send off that they did for the original 94 Nemesis was amazing. One week ago to this day at the time of recording. So yeah, make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, this will probably be our last time walking down here because like Topia isn't going to be coming down to this part of the park because of the ongoing construction at Nemesis and also Subterra. Uh, but yeah, you're going to take a, a right turn by the looks of it when you get down into Gloomy Woods. And then next year, I'd imagine all this is going to be blocked off down at this side for the major work that's going to be taking place. Well, I'm glad they've got the music on down here. It just fills that gap because it would be very silent around here without it, wouldn't oh, it? it really would. It would be really eerie around here. It's going to be weird it next season. It's going to be weird, but I'm looking forward to seeing the change. Yeah, and here on Theme Park Worldwide, we're going to be covering everything that we can do. Obviously, access to this part of the park will be very restricted. In fact, all this pathway, this will be our last time walking down here for a year and a half on this side. Try our best with the updates, the best we can. Yeah, obviously plenty of trips to the roller coaster restaurants are, are in order. <laughs> so obviously that's just around the corner here, so we'll be able to get some updates from inside the park. Um, and also on the top of the car park, they've also set up a little construction area um, just out the back on an old staff car park. So yeah, we'll have as many updates as we can, starting in the next couple of weeks when the work really kicks in. I'd imagine at the time recording from tomorrow, Monday, we're going to be seeing work starting here. Um, removing the track for Nemesis, this original track from 1994. Well, the main B&M down here in Forbidden Valley may be closed throughout next year. However, you've still got the flying coaster down here. Galactica, of course, formerly known as Air. Yeah, I'd really like to see them do some theming upgrades to this to make it fit in better with Forbidden Valley. I know when it was designed in 2002, it was always planned to be like the oasis, the calm part of the valley. But yeah, I'd like to see them go more down the rustic look with this some kind of you know flying contraption something like that especially how close it gets to nemesis or it's like it could be a battle between the two coasters i feel like there's another upgrade for this ride that should be done in the future i mean in my opinion anyway it's just never quite fit this end of forbidden valley however it's still a great ride i mean i might not love flying coasters that much myself however um, it is still a fantastic ride you've got to think it's another john wardley classic down here at this end of Forbidden Valley. But yeah, it's going to be weird, especially standing here next year and not seeing that piece of track in place there. But uh, that's the thing over winter. We're going to be able to bring quite a few Nemesis updates because we'll be able to come in down this way and look across there. You know, you still got to have access to Roller Coaster Restaurant. Exactly. So we'll still be able to get quite close. I mean, they're probably going to put big barriers up and all fencing, all theme signage and stuff. Exactly. But I'm sure there's ways that we're going to be able to see. 100%. I look back there at the iconic Nemesis archway. There we go. That view is going to look very different next time we see it here. It will indeed. I tell you what, though, do you think Nemesis is going to stay open for next year? Well, I'm sure it will do. Here it is. Yay. Nemesis just over here, which is the donut stand. Yeah, I hope that stays open. So if you are coming to Alton Towers, don't get confused between Nemesis and Nemesis yeah, if you're looking on the confused. website or anything. Yeah, don't yeah. Get <laughs> Oh, Nemesis. Let's hope it stays open throughout 2023. Oh, look at that poor parrot just down there. I think it needs to be stood up. <laughs> but yeah, the ongoing preparation for Lighttopia continues. Massive amount of lights and theming that goes out around the park. And yeah, the route has changed slightly for this year as well. It goes through the gardens this year, which is really nice. Oh, he's got a cable wrap around his ears just oh. there. <laughs> but yeah, really looking forward to this. So many new bits as well. Right then, we're going for a nice ride now on Wicker Man. It said 20 on the app, so we'll see how long we wait for this one. But uh, here we go, you've got the Lightopia entrance down here and this big portal, which looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, really impressed with all the setup and very much looking forward to that in a couple of weeks. Right, let's go and have a ride now on Wicker Man.
from Charlotte after a ride there on Wicker Man. Oh, you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. I love Wicker Man, but oh, my legs are out. It's so <laughs> <laughs> You've done so well, Charlotte. I've done like 20,000 steps today. Oh, oh hey. gee! You have, haven't oh, you? Shattered. How about a nice sit down? On Hex. On Christmas Hex, yeah. just over here. Here we go, We've got the decorations up ready for the park's Christmas event. Yeah, this dark ride will be open as part of the winter offering out here at Alton Towers. They haven't decorated the trees just here yet. But uh, here we go, let's get another nice ride on here. Probably do a couple of bits up in Nurt Walliams as well, make the most of it. Right then, made our way now down here into Dark Forest after a lovely ride there on Hex. We will be back on there over Christmas though, which oh, is I good. I love Hex so much. Yeah, we actually did uh, Gangster Grind the Ride, another one that's open over winter. That's a good thing, it's nice to see more indoor rides here at Alton Towers. Definitely. And with the new potential indoor roller coaster uh, that they're hoping to get planning permission for, that's something else indoors. Exactly, something for when it's raining or yeah, when it's Yeah, hopefully it can open great. over Christmas. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It'd be nice to have another big uh, coaster open over Christmas. That's if it is a coaster, of course. But. Uh, <laughs> I think it's gonna be. Uh, but here we go then. We're gonna say something now that we don't normally say in a theme park worldwide vlog. We're going on Rita. We are. <laughs> we don't go on it very often. Like about a 15 oh, minute Kiva Rita just up here. So we thought we may as well. Let's go and have a ride. This out of all the big coasts at Alton Towers is the one that we've been on the lead today. Oh, no, it? we don't ride it that we much. We just don't go on Rita very often. So yeah, give Rita some love in. Well, the park's really filtering out now, and we've just had a great ride there on Rita, and waited just 10 minutes for a back row ride on there. Great ride on Rita, but those restraints stink. Oh, yeah, they did smell oh, a bit, didn't they? Really? Uh, you gotta think it's because there's not a station roof, yeah, that's why. I guess so, yeah, yeah, always outside, but yeah, look at this. What did you say, 15 minutes, but I don't think it's gonna be that. Yeah. It's very quiet, and there's still like ages left, yeah, a ride time. Yeah, there is like what, 90 minutes or something? Yeah. Two hours, like still a ride time? It's crazy. Yeah. If you wanna get loads of rides in, get yourself running at Alton Towers or spectating uh, when you come next year, so you can get loads of quiet rides. Just think how busy it was last week with fireworks. Now look at this, this is a ghost town tonight, and Charlotte's still running, fair play. 10K next year, I'll get you signed up. If you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. It's nearly a walk on. Straight into the station for 13. And next year, this ride will be 13. Well, it's quiet now down here in Dark Forest. Yeah, we only waited five minutes for a back row ride just on 13. Fantastic roller coaster. Yeah, I really enjoy 13. Anyway, I've just come down into the locker station because I noticed a sign that appeared earlier this year. However, yeah, I just started getting it in a vlog because it says escape whilst you can. And there's some pictures there, some B&M track. Now, of course, we know that Rita's slogan is you must escape. The fact that it says escape whilst you can with pictures of B&M track makes me think, could we be seeing a Rita removal in the future? Possibly a new coaster down here or the station for a new coaster that could maybe expand Cross Valley or somewhere else in this part of the park. It's interesting, but yeah, just start to point that out. Escape whilst you can. Is that a little hint to what could be coming in the very future of this park? Not in the next few years, but you know, maybe five, six years from now, SW10. Well, there's still 90 minutes to go until ride close and queues are really quiet. The smile is on five, oblivion on zero. This is fantastic. Let's go and have a ride on the original dive coaster. Look at this, absolutely deserted here at the Smiler. Just me and Charlotte here, I think. Uh, this is crazy, and you got to think, what? There's still an hour to go, bright time. Yeah, this event is brilliant for low queues, it really is. And of course, all the fantastic runners today did a brilliant job. Oh, it was really good fun watching earlier on, I really enjoyed that. And of course, seeing Charlotte running around Alton Towers, something I'll never forget, really special. Towards the end of our day here at Alton Towers. It has indeed. 
on this big day for Charlotte. Run. Oh, I'm really pleased, honestly. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I was a little bit worried, you know, thinking how you're going to get on. But, oh, but I did it and I'm really pleased. Well, we're going to end it with a night ride on Wicker Man now. And it's a zero minute wait. Do you just say zero minutes zero for Wicker Man? Minutes, I know, I'm shot myself. And we waited like two minutes for a front row ride on zero the Smiler. Like, look at this, zero minutes for Wicker Man. Let's go and have a ride. And this will be our final ride here at Alton Towers until next season of course out of the big rides it's only spinball of course that's open over the christmas period so yeah wicker man it'll be march before we're next back on here absolutely nobody here at wicker man we'll see you all when we come off i'm sure we'll have a couple of rides make the most of it for we'll wrapping up our vlog to run through alton towers 2022 An awesome night ride there on Wicker Man. Our final ride on that GCI Woody until March. But what a brilliant day here at Alton oh, Towers. I've enjoyed it so much. I've loved it. The highlight for me, of course, seeing Charlotte participate oh, in that 5K run I'm around so the park. I'm so glad that I did it. And the support and the atmosphere was just fantastic. Anyone who wants to do it, do it, because you won't regret it. It was brilliant to I watch. It, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think the fact they had all the entertainers around exactly, as well. which was really nice. Oh, it just really boosted the morale throughout. Definitely, yeah. What a brilliant day. What an amazing event. Loved and something it. very different for us to see as 100%, well. 100% very different. Yeah, I mean, we've never covered anything like this on the channel before. But you know what? It's a fantastic event. Uh, I think, you know, the only thing for me what they need next year is another uh, coffee place on the lawn yeah, for it was people. Yeah, because busy. And also, I think it's a shame, really, that Alton Towers themselves don't publicise it more because they've put nothing on the official kind of park socials or anything today. No, they could have put a post on to say, like, big congrats to the runners or yeah. big well done, but they didn't put anything, sadly, which yeah. is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I mean, I know the event is run by an external company and it's treated that way. It's a big thing. You'd think with this day and age, you know, and encouraging people to do more exercise exactly, and that sort yeah. of thing and running, the park will want to promote that. But yeah. I was quite surprised not to see any posts in the park no, or anything on socials shame, and stuff. Really. Yeah, I mean, it's a big thing. I know Alton socials haven't been the best anyway this year, but yeah, such a big event happening at the park and nothing's really been mentioned of it. Just a well done would have been Yeah, nice. 100%. But uh, you know what? Uh, I think the team that do run Alton Towers, yeah, they're a really good company. Really good, yeah. uh, everything's been pretty well organised from signage to the staff around the it marshals. And then, of of course from Alton Towers side the ride's been open uh, has been fantastic tonight yeah, it's been quiet and they still kept their eyes yeah open, fair play good. we thought they might have shot them off yeah, early but no it's been really quiet we've had loads of night rides in perfect oh. way uh, to kind of wrap up the season if you like I mean I still class last week as the official end of the yeah. season this is more a bonus day however if you are looking to get on some quiet rides uh, this is a fantastic event to come Definitely. to you can do uh, and do a run while you're here or if you don't fancy doing the run like myself you can just come and spectate you know which is great oh, fun are hurting now. I can't wait to get back, <laughs> put my feet up and have a nice cup of tea. Oh, well done Charlotte and well done to anybody who was yeah, here today. Huge congratulations. And not just today but across the two days because obviously yesterday there was the runs as well, the children's run and, and the, the 10k. 10K yeah. Um, so yeah, well done to huge everybody. congratulations. Definitely, it's been really good fun. I've loved it. And we'll be back here at Alton Towers in a couple of weeks time for the launch of Christmas as well. But uh, thank you very much for watching and that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in the next video.